and we start the next episode with a tornado. It's actually the first tornado that I see in Anno 1404. I mean, I've played this game like a hundred hours when it was active, so when it has gotten released. Production has been disrupted. I've never seen a tornado. I think I always disabled it. So tornadoes are really, really dangerous when they are close to a tornado your is threatening production. Your island. And the thing is, he's coming for my red production right now. Holy shit. Let's have a look what he destroys actually. Fire is devastating your city. And there goes my warehouse. And he goes through all of my... Yeah, he's going totally <laughs> through my uh, weed plantations, crop plantations. Look at that. Oh my... So this is the reason I don't like catastrophes in Anno. I mean, from all the spots on the map, he's taking my bread production island. I don't believe it. Of course, visually it looks pretty cool. But damn. Does it really have to take my bread island? Let's see, he turns. Look at that, you can see where he actually went on, on the grass. So he's on the mountain now. And he's taking my or mine. That is, well, very unfortunate. And now he's plowing through my forest production. That is not so important. Fire is devastating your city. And he's destroying my lumberjack huts here. Your population here. needs a medic. And at the same time, I do have the plague and the fire now in my town. Oh, look at that. Catastrophes everywhere. Let's see. I need the doctor. Let's build one here. And I'm also going to build one down here. This game really doesn't like me. Okay, the tornado is now on the open sea again. It's actually taking course to my city. I have kitted the captain's cabin out quite hard. Please turn around. Please don't go to Sleepy Hollow. Okay, he's standing still right now. Let's have a look at my bread island. So what has he destroyed here? Definitely a crop farm here and a market house here. Yeah, I don't have the resources for that. Okay. Oh, he's getting closer to my town again. To my plague-ridden town. Let's build another ship. Oh boy, I hope I don't have to see another one. Okay, he's, he's, he's going down, I hope so. That would be, that would be really bad if he would actually go through my town. And now he's turning around. Hmm. Let's hope for the best. My ships would be delighted okay, to ships are not getting destroyed by it at land. least. Because he's really standing right where all my ships go through. Oh, they are getting destroyed. You lost a ship in the disaster. 
That was my oldest ship. That was my flagship. Stop, stop, don't go there. I don't know why the captains actually drive right through it. And when does it disappear? Look at that, all the ships want to, to hit the tornado. Two oh my. players have agreed to peace. That was my oldest ship. And now he's going for Sleepy Hollow. No, that is not beautiful anymore. That is not how Tornado I remember. Is threatening to devastate your island. Please don't, please don't go into the into my town. Shipbuilding completed. I don't know how long does it take for him to disappear. And now he's going into Sleepy Hollow. Wow, look at that. I mean, it's like an opponent sent this tornado to me. Demolish right through my town. Eh? You might as well just throw us out of the city. <laughs> Just look at that. Oh my goodness. Production has been disrupted. I don't know why anyone would actually enable catastrophes in this game. Look at that. It's like someone sent it the tornado. He's just going through everything that is kind of worthy to me. Okay, I've lost a marketplace there. I think I need to build another one here. Yeah, now he's going for the church. One of your plants has stopped producing goods. Incredible, especially because it doesn't disappear. An inferno is destroying your settlement. Still active. I can hardly believe how far along I have the plans here for the next phase of construction. All I need is your consent. Oh my. All right. On the other hand, we finished the first phase of our historic mark uh, warehouse. I can help you with? So I we can start with the second phase oh, now. Yes. And it's starting to look like something. Damn this tornado. One of your plants has stopped producing goods. And we've also gotten a fire in here now, so let's see. But there's a fire station there. That should be enough. The tornado still exists. He's now Richard Northburg. I'm afraid I must ask you for a country. Is anything else I can help you with? Oh, look at that. He's actually destroying the buildings of Richard Northburg. one tornado. I haven't seen that yet. On this scale. 
the scale of destruction by a tornado. And we're also having the plague over here. See, I've got a new flagship. It, it really hurts that I've lost the oldest flagship that I have. That I had. An illness is spreading through your island. Well, we can't change that now. We still have the plague. Production has been disrupted. And I also want some wood because I need to rebuild now the bread farms and windmills I think some of them production has been disrupted yeah that really hurt it really won't take much to complete this assignment Well, it's going to take a uh, while now Production to recover from that disrupted. tornado. And because I got the plague at the same time. But well, we'll manage. Let's build the iron smithy here as well. And I can see that he destroyed another market house up here. And also another forest lumberjack hut. Okay. And here... There was defi definitely a crop farm here. Game saved. Like this. And the second one like this. I think. Well, we have to move it a bit. Like this. And I think it even destroyed the the streets here, so... I don't remember that he actually does that, but well, he did. Oh, come on. Okay, so we got two crop farms again, and we also need the windmill. Another one. And yep, yeah, there was definitely definitely a crop farm here. And the market building here. Okay, that should be enough for now. The tornado still exists. Oh, he's now at my opponent's place. I'm destroying a bit. And the plague is tenacious. It doesn't disappear. Let's build another doctor. Production has been disrupted. At least we can rebuild some of our districts. Hmm. 
I do have quite a lot of doctors in my town now. I shouldn't have so many, I think. They cost quite a lot. 40. For each one of them. So one thing that's def definitely clear to me now is that catastrophes happening are, do happen way too often. It should be the case like this. There, it should happen like every 30 minutes, every 60 An minutes perhaps. Is spreading through your but island. This, this raid is just incredible. Like catastrophes happen every five minutes or so. I can't even plan a single thing without another catastrophe hitting me. It's quite exaggerated the whole thing. And it's a lesson to me. So the next Let's Play that we play, Anno 2070, I'm looking forward to that game, but definitely without catastrophes. I mean, the tornado was nice. That was impressive, kind of. But you have to rebuild everything all the time. And success was so and we still have the plague. It takes forever to disappear. Even with doctors everywhere. Thank but God. on the bright side, we no do have a storage warehouse like on stage 3 now. So it's the last stage. After this, we have finished our first monument. And let's have a look at our goods. Everything is good, except the leather trokins. They're really down now. But the rest is looking pretty good. Wine is high, fur coats, meat, bread as well again, beer is high, only the leather coats. your duty to support the nobles in this Ladder trokens. So for that, um, as we said in the last episode, we do need another island with a river on it. And this one here looks perfect. York's has some. And what I need is, I think, pig heights. Yep. So you're doing well as blessing. I might have. A Hopefully, the plague is gone. Um, so I think we can build the pig farms here as well, and build one, two, three. We can only build three tanneries anyway. What does it cost? I think quite a lot of bricks, yes. So we need a few more bricks to increase that production. And some tools as well, of course. Even though we need a lot more wood. And many, many bricks for that. Okay. And I'm just going to make sure that there is no boost item somewhere that I'm missing. There is one. The weaver's hut. The weaver's hut, that is for the linens, right? Yeah. Alright, let's do this. Let's buy this this item there. So we can increase our Your production for the weaver's hut. To. Very nice. There is nothing here. And there is Good. one. A sugar mill plant. We have no sugar mill. What is that anyway? Let's have a look. The Sultan has presented you with these building plans as a gift. I don't even have a sugar plant, so I think that's something for later. Perhaps that I've not seen yet. How wonderful to see you again. The optician's workshop, we don't need that I at the moment. 
Nope. No boost here. And perhaps he's got a boost. Oh, there is an item here that I've bought. The roasting house. Ah, you're back. What else have we got here? Confectioner's workshop. Okay, that's nothing we need at the moment. Let's just bring the roasting boost to my coffee island. And we continue in the next episode.